Uh, so this morning, at about 5.30, we had one 911 call that led us over to the O'Reilly's where somebody heard shots fired over in that direction. And deputies arrived in the area, and at that time they didn't find anything near the O'Reilly's. And at about 6.13, we had three adult males. They drove themselves to Harborview Hospital. Uh, one of the males was shot in the leg. The other two both have critical injuries. Um, I don't have their status as of now, but they're both listed in critical condition. Uh, the one male that he has since been released, the one that was shot in the leg, uh, told us that they were over in the area behind me here in the alley between 16 and 17 Southwest. Deputies arrived there. By the time we figured this all out, it was about an hour after. So about 7.15, we're able to link them together. Uh, deputies arrived here to find, as you can see by the yellow placards, a lot of shell casings on the ground. I don't have the exact number, but I think it's somewhere around 40 or so shell casings. Uh, what appears happened from what detectives have told me, again, they're still putting this together. There was some type of gathering that was occurring at an after hours location down the alley. And during that, there was a disturbance that broke out. We don't know with how many people the disturbance involved. And then as you can see, multiple gunshots were fired. Uh, they struck the victims. They also struck some buildings. Multiple cars have been struck as well with gunfire. Um, let's see. So as of right now, detectives are still trying to piece this together. Again, we don't really know what led up to the shooting. We don't know what led up to the disturbance. And that's something that they're hoping to figure out soon, um, as well as trying to link it with this after hours gathering spot and once detectives do that then they'll continue on they're going to be out here for probably most of the day still trying to piece this together and detectives have asked me to put out that if anybody has any information at all there were a lot of gunshots that were fired early this morning and most likely there was somebody else that was out here that saw something and the fact that we only got one 911 call makes me believe that a lot of people saw stuff and just didn't think to call. But we need any and all information at all. You can call 911, you can call our non-emergency line of 206-296-3311. And any information you have, we will definitely take and a detective will call you right away. Any questions? Rough estimate of how old these guys are. They didn't have them, they told me adults, but I don't have their age yet. How do you think only one call came in? That's the only 911 call we got. Yeah, we just got the single call that said they heard shots near the O'Reilly's. That was the only thing we got. Did the action take place in this alley between 16th and 17th? Yeah, it looks like it started in the alley and then it continued through. Uh, you can see all the placards and then again that business was hit was as well. Was this a running gun battle? We don't know that yet, but it, it appears because of where the placards and things were that it was, it was that. But we haven't been able to say for sure. Any guns recovered? No guns. Did the three have any guns when they were shot, or were they just kind of in the crossfire? We don't really know yet. We haven't recovered any guns uh, that we know of, or you, that we've seen. Can you tell the, by the casings if they're multiple calibers, things like that, different weapons? Um, they're still working on putting that together. I should have that information later, though. I don't have it yet. And no descriptions of the suspects? No, we have no descriptions. But so it is, uh, it does sound like there are people shooting at each other. For sure, yeah. There was definitely a disturbance that caused the shooting to occur, but we don't know what the disturbance, what led up to the disturbance. But not a lot of information out of the... No, oh, sorry. No updates yet. Uh, the last update I had was that uh, one had just gone out of surgery, the, the two were in critical, and then the one was just released, and that was within the last 15 minutes or something. And much information out of the guy who was released? Uh, he has been somewhat cooperative, working with detectives uh, initially. And I'm not sure if he still is working with them or not. Can you say more about the uh, after hours gathering spot? Yeah, we don't, we haven't been able to link it for sure to that location. So until they do it, they're not gonna name it, but that's all part of the investigation. So we know that they were hanging out in, in the alleyway. There was multiple people there, um, but until they can actually link it to the certain club, I guess it is, they won't name it just in case it's not actually involved or they weren't actually there. Mm -hmm. So the one think that uh, the gunfire broke out around 5:30. Is that your? That's when our calls came. Our calls. Our call came in was at 5:30. Correct. The um, guy that was released from the hospital. 
Is he still in custody? No. He's not? No, okay. he wasn't in custody. He was just a victim. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you tell kind of neighbors that are sort of in this back area, probably heard a bunch of gunshots go off this morning, probably a little nervous about, you know, being in this area right now, seeing all this in their backyard? Yeah, as far as now, um, there's going to be a lot of police out here all day long. And uh, I already sent an email off to the major of this area. We're going to come up with a plan. I know that he's already probably working on it, but uh, we have extra patrol out. They'll be out throughout the day, and again, the detectives will be here all day long. So there's, you can come out. There's no reason to stay away from the area at this point. Obviously, we have some road closed that will be closed for quite a while, and that's because they have different scanners and things that are running, and they can have the cars driving in and out. Plus, they still have to pick up the evidence. Is there any uh, <clears throat> common thread? among the three people who arrived uh, at, at Harborview with the gunshot wounds? I don't think that we have that information yet, or at least they haven't told me that information yet. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure. I don't know much about them, except they just told me they're adult males. But once I get some more on it, I'll definitely let you guys know. And is it correct that the one with the wound in the leg uh, was the one who drove uh, all three? I've only assumed that, and I don't know if we even know that for sure. Uh, we just know that they were brought there by someone. Off. It wasn't, they didn't call 911, there was no ambulance or anything involved.